Hello and welcome. Now, I really want to create this video because I really love minimalism. I think it can be so valuable and I really use it in the sense that it helps clear out the things and helps me focus on what's the most important, but it also helps me to practice my ethics and my beliefs around trying to be more sustainable. And I really do love to use minimalism in that way that I am trying to practice sustainability and yes there's a way of doing it where you you know you consume less and maybe when you do purchase something you purchase better quality or from a more ethical brand or something that's got a longer life to it but it also means that you as a person make a conscious effort to value your possessions and when I'm talking I'm talking about myself for me to value my possessions and to prolong the life of them and to take care of them and to not declutter them just because they have a little hole in them or they might not be as shiny new as when I first purchased them or my black jeans might be slightly going gray now and they're not stark black or whatever but to yeah to prolong the life and to not declutter things just because they might be falling apart a little bit and to not upgrade and get the new iPhone just because it looks shiny and fancy and I am being sold these ideas from magazines and advertisement that you know if I upgrade my things then I therefore upgrade myself and I become like this better person which is a complete delusional BS because the only way you become a better person is to do hard work and actually to be self-reflective and to actively participate and work with that every single day. It's not from buying the new iPhone, I'm very sorry. There's no quick fixes to being a better person. You just have to do the work. So anyway, I yeah wanted to share with you all the different things that I have had for at least four years and then go to something that I've had for around 20 years or it has been in my family for 20 years. And you know, I could have had so many more things if only I hadn't maybe decluttered them or if only I hadn't bought into that idea of upgrading and getting new things. And I do have some clothes, but I don't want to make this video too long. I'm sort of talking about like bags and a few technological items. So yeah, anyway, and I also want to just quickly mention, sorry, it's getting quite long this intro, but I recognize my privilege. I recognize that me sitting here and saying, look at all these things that I choose to have for a really long time and I choose not to go out and buy the new version or not to upgrade. The choice in itself is a complete privilege because it is a choice for me. I can afford to get a new car. I can afford to buy the new iPhone. I can afford to get a new laptop. I can afford to replace my whole closet if I wanted to, but I choose not to. And that is a privilege because there are so many people out there who cannot afford that, who might not even have phones or laptops or more than one bag. So I, I just want to make that very clear because I think with minimalism, it's very helpful to understand that if you are consciously going to minimalism and you have time to think about it, you have time to enact it and work with these ideas, there's a privilege that comes with that. And to acknowledge that does help to put you in a place of being more humble and also just appreciating what you do have. And that is very valuable. So anyway, with that said, let's jump into the items. So first is my phone. It's an iPhone 6. I think there's now possibly an iPhone 13 or 14 that is available, but I am so happy that I still have my 6 and I will not replace it until I completely breaks and I have no other choice. Um, even if it slows down, I want to keep working with it because I feel like if I if it, if it means that I have to wait a few more seconds to make a phone call or I have to wait a few more seconds to open up an app, is it really that big of an inconvenience on myself that therefore I feel like I need to go and get the new upgrade or the new phone just so and in that process demand more resources resources from the world just so I can save a few seconds a day or maybe it adds up to a few minutes, but you know, to work with something just because it's slow, like what, is that really a problem? Is that really a necessity? So anyway, I got this phone. I make sure I have a glass screen on top. So then when it does fall, it only smashes that. That has lasted me the whole time I've had the phone. I also got a really good quality case made of bike helmet material. So it's pretty drop proof. So I haven't had any problems with it. And I really make a conscious effort to take care of it. I don't just throw it into the sand on the beach. I don't, you know, leave it outside. Like I really take care of the things that I have. And my phone is one of those examples. Now the things that I purchased, so this is stuff that I got in 2016. So it's about four years old is menstrual underwear. So I have some things period underwear. Um, that I've had and I you know since buying them I haven't used any 
disposable period products and I think that in itself is awesome because that's four years where I haven't contributed to that toss and go system and I, I'm, it makes me very happy every time I wear these underwear. So I've had them for a long time. Sure, they're a little bit loose here and there's a little bit of you know staining there and they're not as shiny new as when I first purchased them. And the other day I was thinking, oh, maybe I should get some new things. And then I really thought about it. I was like, why on earth would I do that? They still are doing the job that they are meant to do. And that is what is important. Sure, they might not, you know, the elastic here is a little, I don't know, little rubbled, ruffled. And it's maybe not as perfect as it was when I first purchased them. But they're doing the job and it's great. The same with my menstrual cup. I've had that for a while. Um, and yeah, it's no longer like completely clear plastic, it, uh, um, silicone rather, it has dyed a little bit because blood has colour. Um, but I still, you know, I want to keep using this until I can't anymore. Like the life, the life, lifetime of the a menstrual cup is around 10 years and that's incredible. Like I think that is awesome to have things like that, especially like to have a menstrual cup that like lasts 10 years when the average lifetime of an iPhone is like four years and three months and you think about how much a freaking iPhone costs and like how much a menstrual cup, it's just like why are things creating, being created that don't have a long lifespan? It's all for consumerism. Um, this bag I purchased in 2016, also really love it. I have a few bags that I have that I'm gonna share with you that I find like when you get a good quality bag, it will last such a long time. Do not buy bags from Kmart and Target. I, I know some people can't afford to get better quality things, but when you get good quality from good brands, they last a really long time. And this is one of those examples. Um, Another bag example, so this one I purchased in 2015, it's five years old, is my travel backpack. So it's a 40 litre Osprey. I've used it on countless trips where I've gone for several months or I've gone for like if I just go for a weekend or something like that. And I did actually go and purchase an upgrade of this bag because I was like, well, as a minimalist, I should be able to fit all of my things into like 30 litres, shouldn't I? Like this is 40 litres, like people will really think that I'm more minimalist if I can fit it into a smaller backpack. So I bought a new one and then I was like, this is ridiculous. Like what I was trying to upgrade it because I wanted a shinier bag, but also to, for that silly reason, then I was like, that is ridiculous. So I returned the bag and I'm so happy I did because I just have got a better relationship now to this backpack and I used it very recently when I went on my travel trip. Another thing I purchased in 2015 was this clean canteen water bottle. Um, it's funny, with minimalism there's that idea of like, well what is a minimalist? And like you can buy into those ideas of how many items you should have and what is, you know, that kind of thing around, well a real minimalist should be able to like travel for, you know, a year within 30 litres. It's also with um, zero waste, there's like this these products that, you know, people say, oh you need to have this product. And so when I first got into minimalism and zero waste I was like, oh, you know, I need to have a clean canteen water bottle. I did purchase this and it has lasted a really long time. It is a really good quality product, but that idea that you need to have specific brands, I just think that's really interesting as well. But that's a whole other video. But anyway, I have this, I really love it. It's lasted a long time. I have these boots. These are the third pair of this exact same boots. I had, um, I purchased the first ones maybe in 2012, 2013, and these ones I think I got in 2014. But the first pair I resold and rehealed hundreds and like not hundreds of times. I would say three or four times before they completely fell apart and like the leather ripped and everything. Um, and these are the next pair, and you can see that they do need to be resold and rehealed. But I take care of them, and I will be doing that soon, and that will prolong the life of these boots. Like they will last a long time. And just because they started to like look a bit shabby, I have actually already purchased a pair of boots that are sitting in my closet because I do slip up, I make mistakes, I go into that mindset. So I have another pair of boots that are still in the box that are to replace these ones when these ones fall apart. But I, yeah, I, I also make, I also get into this mindset where I'm like, well, I need a new shiny pair. Like these do look a bit old and scrappy, but I don't, I just forget it. And it's usually when I'm not feeling good about myself or little things like that, when those thought forms slip in and I, I make mistakes. But anyway, those are those boots. This is a bag that I've had since 2014. I love it. It's not particularly stylish, but it's black and it matches everything. It's really good quality leather. And I hope that it will continue to last me for a very, very long time. This backpack was purchased in 2011 by my dad as a birthday gift. It's a canvas backpack. I've used it for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. It's really good quality. And I love things that I can just look back and be like, I've had for such a long time and you know, I don't want to replace it unless I really, really have to. And like, even if it got a hole, it's canvas, I could just patch it up with another piece of canvas and 
yeah, who cares if I look a little bit scruffy? That's not important. It's what's important is that I'm not getting more resources just so that I look a particular way or that I value myself based off the things that are in my life, which is just, it's a whole corrupt system. Another thing I have is this laptop. I purchased this in 2012. So actually I should talk about laptops first, but, um, yeah, I, when I purchased it, I purchased one of the top ones on the market at that point in terms of like the hard drive, um, the RAM and all that. You know, I don't know the, the terminology, but it has lasted a really long time. It did start to slow down. So I went up to the Apple store and we cleared it out and we sort of um, did a bit of a reboot on it. And then when it starts to slow down even more, then I may just replace the hard drive or some of the, um, the hardware that's in the actual laptop and try and make this last as long as possible because I think too often when laptops slow down we just give up on them and we go purchase new ones instead of taking them to a tech store that could really do an evaluation on the laptop and see what stuff needs to go inside and people go well you know if it's going to cost me $800 to make this computer go faster I might as well spend a $1,300 and buy a brand new one but like that's sure you might you may as well but like what's what's the thought behind that why would you do that why wouldn't you want to try and prolong something and give it a longer life you know we think about animals or family members think people things we really care about and really value like people and we obviously want to give them the best we can and prolong their life and i don't want to compare material objects to people but just try and have not the same but a similar value to items like if we really take care of them and we try and look after them in that way you know we wouldn't be constantly buying new stuff all the time the next thing i have is these beats headphones i got these in 2009 they sometimes the music doesn't come out of both ears but hey they still work and i'm not prepared to go and get some new ones until i really feel like I can't do anything else with them. Um, and that's another thing I found really sad because I wanted, I went to the Apple store and I was like, is there any way we can fix this? Or like go on there. Like they were like, these are so old. We can't do anything with them. Like, why do you still have them? Like that was the response when I was in London at the Apple store. So like, it makes me really sad as well that products are produced. And then after a while, no one cares about it. Once the warranty has gone, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to try and fix it. Like I would rather pay to help someone to get someone to fix the wiring in the um, headphones so that the music would work better and have this product longer than to go and buy a new one. And I really feel like if more people had that attitude, if we demand that of society, of these companies, of these corporations, then that might actually happen. And that would be grand. Another thing I have is this hairbrush I believe I received it in 2004. My mom actually used it before me and it's a Mason and Pearson one. It's a very expensive hairbrush to buy, but it lasts so long. The quality is so good and it's just, it's awesome. I've only had one hairbrush since 2014. Can you think about that? Like that's great and it makes me very happy. And I, yeah, I was even in the store when I was in London um, two months ago and I was looking and I was like, oh, maybe I should get a new one because this one's got scratches on it and there's like fluff in there and the bristles have fallen out. And then I was like, well, why would I do this? Because this one still works. And you know, there's just that part of me that always goes, oh, maybe I want the new shiny version, which is silly. Next thing is this car key, which represents the car that I drive now. My parents bought it in 1999. So I was like three or four years old. And yeah, my dad drove it for ages. My mum drove it for ages. And now I'm the one who drives it. And sure, it's a really, really old car. There's a hole in the bottom where you can see the metal. Like obviously you can't see the road because that would just be dangerous. But you can see the metal because it's gone through the carpet. The air conditioning doesn't work. And they said that it would cost lots of money to fix it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to even fix it because, you know, I can live without air conditioning even though I live in Australia. Um, and yeah, it's a really old car. I have plenty of money sitting in my bank account right now to go and purchase a new car, but I don't see the point, you know? Sure, the paint works chipped and it's an old car and it looks scrappy, but it gets me where I need to go. It gets me to work and I value it and I do take care of it as I as much as I can, you know, it's already sort of fallen apart to some degree. But this idea that, yeah, we need a new shiny one, like why? Like, why do you need a new shiny one? It's only because society values a certain system and it's up to you to decide I don't want to participate in that and to find your own value in yourself I think if we genuinely loved and cared about and valued ourselves we wouldn't be looking to material objects to define our own value and the way that other people see us so anyway please share with me in the comments below your thoughts if you feel comfortable I would love to have a discussion around this and yeah I don't know
thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!